Thank you for joining us and welcome to the Specialized Innovation Center here in Morgan Hill, California. My name is Chris Hugh and I lead product and innovation. Today we have something absolutely incredible to show you. Something that our engineers have been working on for several years, but truly embodies over 45 years of innovation. So come on inside. This is the Specialized Museum, where we celebrate some of our most important moments, our incredible innovations, and our amazing athletes and their victories over the last 45 years. We've even got a replica of Mike Sinyard's first office, and even the bike that he used to deliver the original parts he imported from Italy back in 1974 when he founded Specialized Bicycle Components. But to show you what's next, to show you how we're changing road racing forever, we need to go deeper, so follow me. Here at Specialized, our road bike history goes back almost 50 years. But it was in 2002 that we truly took road racing seriously with the original E5, the bike that the tarmac evolved from. But we had to innovate in both alloy and carbon to be able to be successful at the highest levels of racing, winning both Milan San Remo and the World Championships with Mario Cipollini on that first E5. We learned so much in those early days of road racing and perhaps no rider taught us more than Tom Bonin. His incredible strength and raw power forced us to take our carbon expertise to new levels with the Tarmac SL2. And it made us realize that smaller riders like Paolo Bettini needed different performance targets. This was the genesis of our rider-first engineering approach that we use today. And it led to some wins with tour stages with Tom Bonin, the world championships with Paolo Bettini, and monuments like Flanders with Stein de Mulder. While we were innovating year after year with the tarmac, getting better and better, we saw a new rider need, a need for a race bike with a focus on aerodynamics. We partnered with McLaren at the time, a world leader in composites and with experience at the highest levels of motorsport. And together, we created the McLaren Bench. And in 2011, we won Milan San Remo with Matt Goss, the first time it was ever raced. And then we went on to win the World Championships with Mark Cavendish. And now, this is the Tarmac SL5, launched in 2014. This was the first Tarmac built with our Rider First engineering philosophy, with different stiffnesses for each size, developed with data acquisition with our best athletes. The result, the winningest Tarmac ever, the Tour de France, the Vuelta, two World Championships, this bike was unstoppable. Now this is the bike that truly landed arrows everything on the map, the Venge Vias. It was the first bike that we developed from the ground up at our own wind tunnel. And when it launched in 2015, it was the fastest bike on the planet. It was like a bike from the future, and a one-like one too, with Peter Sagan's second world championship, the green jersey at the Tour, and even the first disc brake win in the UCI with Tom Bonin. It was a bike that changed the definition of what an aero race bike could be. And that tireless pursuit of innovation, the desire to constantly improve and working with the best athletes in the world has created the two fastest, winningest bikes in the world, each the ultimate tool for a specific type of rider. For the climber, the attacking puncher, the Tarmac SL6 represents the state of the art. Nothing is lighter, faster, or better handling. For the sprinter, the solo breakaway artist, the Venge represents the fastest bike in the world. It embodies arrows everything. The Venge was the first disc brake bike to win a stage of the tour, the first to capture a yellow jersey. Peter won his record seventh green jersey on the bike and has countless other victories around the world. Now the Tarmac SL6 was the first disc brake bike to win a world championship with Anna Vanderbregen. Peter won his third world championship on the bike, and Julian Alaphilippe won a polka dot jersey at the Tour and spent 14 days in the yellow jersey. What if we could take that DNA, the essence of Julian's climbing, attacking style, and combine it with Peter's powerful and aggressive riding? and have a mad scientist create the greatest rider the world has ever seen. A rider without compromises. A rider that can climb as fast as they can sprint. A rider that's a better handler than anyone else in the world. What bike would they ride? 
A bike with no compromises. A bike that is always the fastest on the road, regardless of what the race course looks like. One bike to rule them all, the Tarmac SL7. The goal was simple, a singular race bike optimizing weight, aerodynamics, and ride quality. The fastest, no compromise bike ever made. We applied 45 years of tried and tested know-how with the experience of two decades at the highest levels of racing. Then, developed with the best riders in the world to accelerate evolution. Years of iteration and a gram by gram obsession yield ultra light fat 12 hour frames and race bikes as light as the rules of international racing allow. Starting with our free foil library of tube shapes, we added our Aero fly bar and paired it to the newest Reval Rapide CLX wheels. It's as fast as anything on the road. The Tarmac remains the world's benchmark for ride quality and handling, in every size, for every rider. The prime example of our rider-first engineering philosophy. The all-new Tarmac SL7 is more than just fast. It's an entirely new way of racing. It's one bike to rule them all. So how do we do it? How do we create a bike that's as light as the UCI rules will allow, but yet is as fast as the most aero bikes in the Peloton, all while maintaining that legendary tarmac handling? A bike without compromises, whether it's climbing mountains or on the most pancake flat sprint stages. No more compromises. No more wondering if you're on the right bike for the day. How do we create one bike to rule them all? Well, when we launched the Tarmac SL6, we kept on innovating. The very next day, we went back to figure out how can we save even more weight? And how can we make tube shapes even faster than before? Having the best tools in the world, including our very own wind tunnel, is what allows us to do all of that. But even more important is having the best engineering team in the world and giving them the resources to be successful. So let's go meet some of those engineers. Let's talk to Cam Piper, the Tarmac SL7 product manager, Nadia Carroll, composites R&D engineer, and Ian Milliken, design engineer. So Cam, let's start with you. We've been going down these two paths with one bike focusing on aero with Avenge and another bike focusing on lightweight, ride quality and handling with the Tarmac. And it feels like everyone's been asking us, when can you just merge those two paths together? So when did our team finally realize that we had the engineering capability to actually pull that off? Well, no matter how fast the bench is in a sprint or how well a Tarmac SL6 handles in the mountains, our riders are always making a compromise somewhere in the race course. And that's exactly where the Tarmac SL7 was born. We just simply weren't willing to make those compromises anymore. And that's really easy for me to say, but it takes years and a dedicated engineering team to get there. And most of that was led by our design engineer, Ian Milton. Yeah, thanks Cam. For the new Tarmac, we wanted to make a bike that was better in every way. More aero, but with no weight penalty. More integrated, but easier to use. Better handling, better ride quality, and more beautiful. What the rider sees as a better bike, the engineer sees as a carefully balanced blend of competing priorities. If we push the aero too far, weight and stiffness suffer. If we push weight too far, aero and stiffness suffer. If we push the integration too far, the easy use will suffer. Our solution ended up being a carefully crafted mixture of these features with no single priority 
taking precedent. It's our years of experience combined with our incredible resources that let us deliver a bike as light as the rules allow, yet in a package as aero as anything else on the road. It still delivers the legendary ride quality and handling the tarmac is known for. Ian's right. This is the type of project engineers equally love and hate. Hate because all the priorities seem to be opposing each other and love because it's challenges like this that allow us to design right on the edge, which is exactly what we did for the all new tarmac. The first samples out of the mold were extremely aggressive. We're talking the bare minimum material required to make a frame. We knew they'd fail lab tests. We knew they'd miss stiffness targets, but they were almost 20% under weight target. From there, we strategically overwrapped these frames with carbon in-house to get our stiffness targets. In the lab, you can do one, maybe two overwraps, but we went further, analyzing them in FBA, which allows you to very apply size, shape, angle, location, material, stack. We're talking hundreds of layups tested to confirm that the final design had the best stiffness to weight ratio. Taking this approach means that the final product is lightweight, aero, and capable. No compromises. Thanks, Nadia. And of course, every step of the way, we involve the best athletes in the world, making sure we don't lose a bit of responsiveness or ride quality. The new Tarmac SL7 is truly made in racing. So let's go back and take a look at over a year of development with the best athletes in the world. Rainbow Stripes, Belgian Monuments, Grand Tour Victory. Specialized has reigned supreme at the very pinnacle of road racing for almost two decades. Through epic days and with heart-stopping speed, the Tarmac and Venge have written legendary scripts in the high mountains and finish lines across the globe. It all started with a mission to create the fastest bikes in the world, the continued obsession of a simple philosophy, innovate or die. But racing has become a trade-off forcing riders to choose between weight and aerodynamics. And our riders asked us a simple question. Why do we need to compromise? I think everybody looks forward to something new. Like, that's what we need to improve, to get better. And you know for sure when you come with something new, it has to be better. And I believe it is. The idea was simple. A race bike with no compromises for weight, aerodynamics or ride quality the fastest race bike for any course. That idea became the goal and the start of a completely new challenge. What Specialized uh, provides, what the professionals of Specialized are able to do, it's, it's quality uh, more than, than quantity. A bike that can uh, combine the best of the Venge and the best of the Tarmac is, uh, is a dream for everybody. The least you have to change on your setup um, knowing that the performance is not compromised is, is just a perfect scenario. We once again collaborated with the best athletes in the world. This established trust, built over more than a decade, is what helped us in developing the Tarmac and Venge to be the winningest bikes in the world. Because in order for a bike to be the fastest on the road, every rider must have complete faith in it. These relationships have defined the targets for ride quality, aerodynamics and stiffness that each bike needs to win. Through aerodynamic experience, earned during years of Venge development, and the knowledge gained of composites and manufacturing in the time of tarmac development, the previously imposed boundaries on race bikes gave way. Bringing us to this, the lightweight, handling and ride quality of a tarmac with the aerodynamic performance of the Venge. bike from now on. Yeah, yeah, one bike That's to perfect. choose from. Pretty cool. And it's light and it looks cool, so I can't wait to ride it tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> Definitely think it's, it's, it's a very complete bike and it's a huge improvement to the, to the tarmac. 
I I never really rode the tarmac much, and I feel like with this bike I would I would ride that setup a lot more. To be successful in the crucible of European racing means to be successful on more than just mountain passes and smooth pavement. The Flemish cobblestones are a test every tarmac must pass. One that demands compliance to ride up and over, aerodynamics to keep the pace on and off the stones, and optimal weight, acceleration, and handling to master the incredibly steep pitches. The best riders in the world have proven to be an integral part in the development of this new bike. Applying more than two years of riding and testing with our teams in Europe and at our California Innovation Center. Sometimes a difficult choice, well, will I take the tarmac or the bench? But now we don't have to choose anymore and you can just go for, uh, for one bike. These incredible riders pushed us to make the cable routing simpler and lighter. They demanded integration with ease of adjustment and flexible fit options. They helped us to deliver a bike that's easy to live with, day after day, year after year. We knew we had achieved our goal when rider after rider asked us the same question. How soon can I race it? It was in December of 2019 that we were able to return to our team's winter training camps and show them the result of all of their input, of our engineering team's tireless optimization and of our never-ending commitment to innovate or die. Some have called it the brass ring, others the holy grail of race bikes. We call it the all-new Tarmac SL7. The hardest part of this process was getting the bikes back after they were on them and telling the riders that they couldn't ride them again for another few months. I felt already enough. Yeah, it's really, really stiff and uh, still uh, really light. So I just want to try uh, during the race now. Whether you race at the highest level, on the biggest teams in the world, or simply for local glory, you'll never have to compromise between aerodynamics, weight, and ride quality again. The Tarmac SL7 is truly one bike to rule them all. We hope we've been able to give you an idea of just how special the new Tarmac SL7 is and how it can give you an advantage, just like it'll give Julian and Peter an advantage, whether it's at the Tour de France or your local group ride. With the Tarmac SL7, you know you'll be always on the fastest bike in the peloton. You've seen the two S-Works Tarmac SL7s, both with the latest and fastest with all repeat wheels but we have an entire lineup of SL7s. The lineup starts with our expert model, with Altegra Di2. And as you move into the two pro models, they both come built integrated with our fastest components, like the Aerofly 2 handlebar and the Revolve Repeat CL wheels. And we have a particularly cool build with SRAM's Force 1x ETAP with a power meter. And you can learn about the entire lineup and the detailed story behind how the team created Tarmac at Specialized.com. You can also take a virtual tour of this space and the Tarmac's history at the top of global road racing. But before you do that, we have one more thing to show you today. This is the first ever global sneak peek at something very special launching next week, the latest Sagan collection. This is a Sagan Collection Tarmac SL7 with a design inspired by Peter himself. A design where we deconstructed the rainbow as a symbol of a rider defined by way more than his unprecedented three World Championship victories. We hope you get a chance to experience the all new Tarmac SL7 for yourself very soon. It's so much more than just a new Tarmac. It's an entirely new way of racing. 
The Tarmac SL7 is simply the fastest race bike in the world. It's one bike to rule them all.